everyone, I'm back with another unboxing. So I knew this was uh, coming, um, but it still feels like two minutes since I did the last one. Um, so this is a box that I've been getting for just over a year. Um, it's a seasonal box, so they send you a box, uh, only send you four boxes per year, one every season, hence seasonal. Um, and it's come all the way from America. So there's usually a little bit of time between obviously being dispatched from there. So it comes from California um, to obviously getting here to um, Yorkshire in England. Um, but to be fair, the, the shipping times aren't usually too bad. Um, so it's fab fit fun. I'm just gonna grab the box. It's quite a big one this time. So depending on what you pick, depends on kind of the size of the box that they send you. Um, but obviously you can see it's the fall edit. So it's kind of got lots of leaves and things on it. Um, now this is a box that's been running for quite a while but I think they only in the last few years uh, brought the service to the UK as well so obviously it started off in America and it was just an American based service for a while um, and then they expanded and I'm very glad they did because I've discovered some pretty um, amazing products through uh, this box that I probably wouldn't have discovered otherwise due to not being available over here or just never really having heard of the brands before. And for those of you who aren't familiar with FabFitFun, they are a lifestyle subscription. So they send you full size products, um, usually premium as well in beauty, fitness, wellness, home, accessories, lifestyle. There's pretty much something for everyone. And how they do how they do it, it's a little bit different to your regular subscription box where they pick for you. What they do is depending on the type of subscription you have. So there are two different types of subscription. So there's the seasonal, which is where you pay every season. There's also the select where you pay up front for um, 12 months of four boxes. So if you are a seasonal member, uh, which is what I am, um, then you get to select four items for your box. So they've recently changed that. It used to be three, it's now four, um, but you get a menu of sorts. So you get this different choices and in each choice there's like four or five different products to choose from um, and then they will pick the rest of the products for you. If you are a select member um, they've now changed it where you can customise your entire box. Before it used to be I think that you would be able to select five items and then FabFitFun would pick the rest but you're now able to select your whole box. You can also choose the surprise me option if you would like a still like that surprise element included as well. Um, so I'll, I'll run through the prices and everything in a minute, but I'm always really excited to get straight into the box. Um, so what they also do, sort of the day before customization opens, when you want to customize your box, they have something called add-ons. And this is where they have a sale of items that they have available in their store, usually at drastically discounted rates that you can add on to your box. So they will basically post it out with your box to obviously so you don't incur extra shipping charges or anything. Um, and I always have a look and see if there's anything in there that I want. Um, the last few times I have actually picked something up from the add-on sale as well, um, usually fitness related, and I've done the same this time. So I'll show you that item first and then I'll show you what's in the actual box. So I've been looking for one of these for a while. Uh, so when I saw this one in the add-ons sale, obviously I was straight on it. Um, and it's from a brand that I've had an item from before, I think from FabFitFun. Um, so obviously I knew it was kind of a, a well-known, quite trusted brand. So let me grab it because it's in quite a big box. So there we go. So it's a yoga wheel. So as you can see, this lady is kind of modeling how to use it and then on the back there it shows you another way that you can use it there's quite a few different ways and um, that you can use a yoga wheel to be honest um, you can use it to obviously add extra um, stretch to some of your um, poses you can also use it to try and help you balance so you can try and balance on it um, which I'm looking forward to trying out um, but you also can help it with mobility so obviously this lady is using it to help her into this uh, warrior pose that she's doing but it's by um, Gaim, or Game, I think. Um, and obviously it says here, well-rounded support. So it's got a strong, durable core to help improve flexibility, mobility, and balance. Six millimeters of comfort and support. So it's got a little bit of padding around it. Move to help you move safely into a variety of poses with support from a strong, dense, and stable core. There's also um, 
access to some free online yoga classes as well through the studio app but it's um i'm assuming there's information about it inside the box um yeah so improve balance enhance flexibility uh so let's have a look inside i'm actually a, a trained uh, yoga teacher so i should be um i should be okay to kind of use it on my own uh, but it's always nice to know that they offer that kind of free online yoga classes for those of those people who aren't necessarily um as confident with it so here we go so i just have to kind of snip that there we go so that it comes with um instructions and tips on how to use it uh, and obviously some safety um safety tips as well so here is the actual wheel so i can actually put it over my head just to show you how big it is um, but it's actually got some really nice rubber padding around it there and then that's nice hard plastic so that should be a pretty solid um, yoga wheel to use particularly for um, back bends so I think I'm, that's what I'm going to use this for a lot actually as well helping me to get a little bit deeper into my back bends I've been having a, a little bit of an issue because I sit down um, all day at work sit at a desk on a computer um, I've been having a little bit of problem you know lower back pain and um, plus you know not getting any younger um, so and I'm trying to kind of look after my back as much as I can and doing a little bit of extra whenever I do a yoga practice I try and add a couple of extra kind of back bends and things in there just to try and help loosen things up a little bit so this is definitely going to come in handy but I'm definitely going to try it um, balancing poses as well so I will obviously keep you all updated as to how I get on with that but that was what I picked up in the sale I can't remember how much it was in the sale but obviously I will look back through the um, the app and see how much it was and I'll put that in the in the review. The price will have been in dollars of course um, but it will have just been converted over into pounds um, by my bank. So there we go. So that is my add-in item. So there's just that one that I picked this time. And now we get into the actual box itself. So I'm just going to open it out and there we go. Even the inside, so let me just kind of show you, even the inside is all printed with leaves and things as well. I love how much effort they put into actually theming the boxes as well. So let's kind of move that, there we go. Okay, so as they always do, they've included a little magazine. Um, they do this every, every month, I was gonna say month, every season. <laughs> um, and inside there's obviously um, information about the products that are inside, all the different choices that you could have made. Um, and they tell you a little bit about how the, the service actually works. So if this is your first box, you know, you can read up a little bit more about that. Um, but there's also, you know, different things about mental health, um, about physical health. So there's some exercise in there as well. Um, fashion tips, cooking. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff in there. Um, hair care, yeah, self care stuff. Again, more cooking. I love cooking, so I'm quite excited about that. Um, skin type. Um, skincare stuff, again more fashion, um, teeth um, wellness, uh, bucket lists and then different offers and stuff that they've got available on the website and then on the back there's a competition to win a trip to looking, looks like Mexico, yeah Playa de Carmen um, is Mexico so um, yeah there's um, the always the magazine in there, I always like reading through that as well so I'm just going to have a look are there, is there the information in here about the products? There usually is, but sometimes, ah, right, okay. So this time um, it's actually not a page. So what they've done is they've included a QR code just there. Um, and if you scan that with your phone, that gives you more information about the products in the box. So there's not actually information this time, but that's fine because obviously all I need to do is tell you what's in my box. And I, <laughs> I kind of remember what I've picked. They've also included a, um, $15 code um, so I'll put that in the description of the video so you can get $15 off your first box um, so I'll put that in the I'm just gonna see if there's a limit to how many people can use that code but it doesn't actually say uh, so I'm assuming it can be used as many times as possible but I will check that obviously but that'll go in the um, in the description of the video so let's have a look so my first choice um, 
as I say, I'm a seasonal member. So I got to make four choices and then the rest of the items were picked for me by FabFitFun. But to be fair, they've done a great job. They usually do. I've never really had any picks by them that have been um, something that I've, I've not liked or not been able to get use out of. Um, and it looks like from you know what's in here, it looks like they've done a good job again. But my first pick was the one item out of everything that I really wanted. So another perk of being a select member, so somebody who pays up front for all four boxes, is you get to customise your box before the seasonal members. So obviously, I think it's a couple of weeks between them. So obviously, I'm kind of seeing everybody else um, put their choices in and things, and I'm having to wait. And I was praying and praying that this was still left. And it was, luckily. Um, so I did mention that I love cooking um, and I've mentioned that for a reason and of course this isn't going to come out of the box, it's being awkward, so there we go, I just didn't want it to go all over the place. So what I've basically picked, I've opened it up just to check that it was still um, you know, in one piece, <laughs> is um, from a brand called Golden Rabbit Enamelware and it's a Dutch oven. Um, now, I'm just going to get this out, or at least open the box up and just show you. So here it is. So obviously it's porcelain, which is why I'm very kind of worried to drop it. Let me just see if I could just get the lid out as well. So the lid is obviously wrapped up in this paper here, but it's a little pot um, and obviously you can, um, I'm just going to so you can use it to cook so I think it's oven safe uh, and you can also have it um, on the hob as well yeah yes yeah, so you can use it on the hob you can use it in the oven as well or in the grill and um, so that's good to know really versatile and as I mentioned I love cooking so I love nothing more than kind of sticking a load of ingredients together in a big pot and leaving them to uh, to simmer for a bit so there's the lid there we go um, so if we pop that on top and then I'll hold the entire thing up to show you. So there is the little pot. Um, and I just saw it and I thought it, it's really unique, it's different, I like the colour scheme um, and I enjoy cooking and because I live in a, a flat, um, so I rent this flat, and but when I first moved in obviously I only had the very basics in terms of homeware and, and cooking and, and things. So. I've been trying to kind of build up my uh, collection of homeware items. So this will go down very nicely um, with my cooking equipment and things. So I'm just going to pop this off to the side. Again, I'm not sure of the recommended retail price for this as I don't have access to that um, in the magazine anymore, but all of the recommended retail prices will be put into the review when that gets published. So that is my first item. I've popped it back in its box for now just to keep it safe and protected. So the next item that I picked was this one and it's by Coach. I'm sure you're all familiar with them. So I'll just take it out of this little bag here and then I can show you. So it comes in its own little drawstring bag here to store it in. And then if I just take this out, it's all nicely padded, which is good. Um, let me unravel this bubble wrap here. And it's a really cute, I, well, I thought it was really cute, um, necklace and earring set. So it's kind of this bronze, rose, goldy colour uh, with sort of, it's sort of like a gold coloured gems in the middle. Um, but I obviously, I do have pierced ears um, and I do enjoy wearing jewellery, even though I've not actually got much on today. Um, and with this being Coach, it's obviously a very uh, well-known brand, very high quality brand, uh, and one that I don't actually own anything by. So when I saw this um, and saw how kind of cute it was, and it would pretty much go with anything, um, the lighting isn't great in here, but hopefully you can get the gist <laughs> of the design. Um, I was obviously... I thought, you know, why not? Why not add it? Add it to my collection. You can never have too much jewelry, can you? Um, even if you can only wear so much at once. Um, but I like that. Obviously, it's come in its own little bag as well. So that means if you want to take it away with you, um, you can keep it stored nice and safely in this little pouch. So let me pop that back in here. And that was my 
second pick and pop that there with the Dutch oven. I'm trying to remember what else I picked. Um, yeah, so I picked this. So um, I think the brand sometimes with uh, regards to the picks as well, just an interest, uh, something of interest to note. Um, some of the picks are only available in the US and Canada due to kind of shipping regulations and things. There are certain items that aren't necessarily available to people who are international um, subscribers. So obviously, such as myself being here in England, some of the items, a lot of the kind of more electrical items are usually not um, available to us over here um, and a few other kind of things. And also sometimes certain brands are not always available to us over here either. And um, this brand that I picked was actually just specifically for um, UK subscribers. Um, there was a different brand available for US and Canada. Um, but it's MAD Skincare, which stands for Maxi Maximum Active Dermaceuticals. And it's their salicylic cleansing gel. Um, so this is specifically for kind of acne and oily skin. Now, I don't actually have oily skin, um, but I have been struggling. Um, I've mentioned this numerous times on this channel. Um, I've been struggling. I had a reaction to some medication that I was put on about a year ago, which brought my chin uh, out in some pretty bad hormonal acne. So you can probably kind of see there's a couple um, of kind of remnants. They're not actual spots. They're just kind of the, the scars that have been left behind. Um, so even though I don't actually have any spots at the minute, per se, um, touch wood, I'll probably wake up with one tomorrow now. Um, it's always good to make sure that I've got things like this handy for when I do have a little bit of a breakout. Um, I've always had really good skin prior to this as well. So obviously it's a little bit of um, a little bit frustrating to um, to experience something like this, which um, is, is something that I'm not used to. So I like kind of getting products like this to have as a backup and on standby for when my skin has a little bit of a meltdown. Um, so this one contains 2% salicylic acid and it's enriched with botanicals to help minimize oil and deep cleansing action infused with willow bark, witch hazel and chamomile. So uh, let me just have a look here. So it's designed to control oil and deeply cleanse the skin. So a blend of salicylic acid and botanicals help to balance the skin to keep pores clear and clean. Um, and then it just mentions about cleansing daily to maintain a clear complexion. So salicylic acid is obviously well, very well known in the use of treating spots and treating acne. I must admit, it's not something that I've ever found particularly helpful as a topical treatment, but in a cleanser, it, it's a little bit different. I use something a little bit stronger. I use something called benzoyl peroxide um, on my spots, and that seems to work a little bit better as a topical treatment. But in a cleanser, salicylic acid seems to work pretty well for me in terms of the oil control. So even though I don't have oily skin per se, sometimes around that time of the month, my skin can get a little bit oily, particularly kind of around here and then my, my T-zone. Um, and I look very shiny today, but that's just because there's a window here. <laughs> um, so that's kind of making me look more shiny than I actually am. Um, but looking at the size of the box, it looks like a pretty big tube. Yeah, so it's a nice, decent size, 200 milliliters. So I should get quite a lot of use out of that. Um, even if I only use it kind of in the morning rather than morning and night, I should still, you know, even if I get use it twice, I should still get quite a lot of use out of it because with stuff like this, with the gels, um, you don't necessarily need to use an awful lot of it. Um, does it foam up or anything? Yeah, so it says it, it kind of foams like, uh, forms like a lava when you uh, massage it in. So you only really need like a pea size amount really. Um, less is more really when it comes to skincare. So that was my third pick. And then my final pick, I believe, was this. So the item that I actually wanted for my fourth pick was unfortunately, um, it had gone out of stock. So it was obviously very popular uh, when other people were making their choices. Um, and that's fine, you know, that happens sometimes. Um, but so I went for this instead because I do travel quite a bit for work. So I drive between where I live in Yorkshire and uh, Manchester, which is about 90 minutes away. Um, from me, which I realise for a lot of you people who may be watching from the USA, that's nothing um, compared to, you know, the drives that you guys might have to do. Um, 
but it is quite a significant drive for, for me. Um, so I like to make sure that I have things that I can take with me that are nice and portable and that are gonna make life easier for me really. Um, so this is by a brand called Stojo and it's a collapsible cup with reusable straws. So it's um, five inch when it's expanded and two inches when it's collapsed. Uh, it's dishwasher and microwave safe. You can put hot or cold liquid in it. Um, it's made from recyclable materials. You can put food in it, uh, for, it's safe for food and drink, and it's BPA and BPS free. So it says we're on a mission to end disposable culture, one reusable at a time. So let's have a look at it and see what it actually looks like. If I can get into the package, there we go. Some of these boxes are really, really difficult to get into. Okay. So this is it collapsed. So it's a nice color as well, actually. We look like that color. Um, and then we have the straws, which are all kind of rubber and they all match the kind of color scheme, which I like as well, the little things. And then you simply, I guess, pull it out. Let's have a look. Oh. oh, so you take that off and then you push it and there it is. So that's the little, uh, and there's the, there's the lid and then you've got this here which is like a holder for it so then you've got the lid and you pop your straw into there so all really um cute and portable and definitely something i will make use out of and now i can't get that back in of course because everything likes to be made very difficult for me um so let me pop this off to the side here, I'll put these straws back in the box and take the lid off and then push it. So it's really easy, you just push it back and then it snaps back together. And then you pop the lid back on one side with this and then this bit goes back through there and then it all sticks together very nicely in there with the straws. And it's done so lovely i'm a big fan of that actually so i wasn't quite sure if i'd like it or not um because i only really had um a portable i think it was a portable in fact i've got it just here <laughs> just next to me i got this from the um fab fit fun box last year i think it was the some no it wasn't the summer it was it might have been the full box actually that I got it from uh, last this time last year, um, which is again it's a glass bottle that one, whereas this one's obviously um, a reusable one. So I don't really feel comfortable taking that the glass one out of the house, obviously in case I drop it and it goes everywhere. But this one is definitely one I can take to work with me. So that is my fourth pick. So the rest of the items that I'm going to show you now are items that FabFitFun have selected for me. So. The first one is a brand that I haven't heard of before, um, but they are called True Moringa and it's Shea and Moringa Balm, which is for hands and body. Um, so let's have a little sniff of it, see if it smells of anything. So I can't smell anything particularly, um, but it's a, does it say the milliliters? It might not because if it's a balm. So it just says 1.4 ounces, um, but it's obviously a nice size for traveling. It's a nice size for slipping into your handbag. To be fair, I might use it as a hand cream. Um, it just says apply as needed to moisturize skin. So I might use it on the kind of those um, drier areas, so like your elbows and your knees and um, the your heels and the balls of your feet, that kind of thing and see, because it sounds like it's going to be quite intense. I love Shea. Shea is one of my favorite um, ingredients in any kind of skincare. So very excited to give this a try. And again, they've done a really good job of picking things for me this time. So the next one is, let's grab this one. Here we are. So this is Zoe Ayla. So I've actually had an item from them before. I can't remember what it was, um, but I've definitely had something from them before. Um, and this is an eco-friendly comb set. Um, so they're environmentally friendly and perfect for all types of hair. So as you can see, I have it's not curly but equally it's not straight um so sometimes if i'm brushing 
I don't try not to brush my hair too much, to be honest, just because it goes quite frizzy. Um, so combing is, is usually quite um, much better for my hair. Um, but it includes a large tooth comb and a small tooth comb with soft rounded teeth to make it easy to detangle hair and prevent breakage. So let's get these out. So I've got my trusty scissors here just to cut into the, the little sticker here. And let's have a look at them. Oh, okay, so we have, this is the larger one, obviously, and we have the smaller one here. Uh, and they're made kind of, what are they made of? Does it say? Oh, propylene and wheat straw. So they're quite an interesting texture. Um, not not horrible, um, they're just interesting. Um, so obviously, kind of just to use them. I don't need to show you how to comb your hair. Um, but yeah, wide tooth and um, small tooth just for whichever you may need to use them for. So I probably, to be fair, the wide tooth, when my hair is wet, it will definitely need um, a little bit of help with that. But I like those, they're really nice. And obviously, eco-friendly is right up my street as well. So let's pop those back in. Lovely. So that is the next item that FabFitFun chose for me. And then we have, what's this? So this is by a brand called Image Skincare, another one I haven't heard of. Um, but this is their All Medic Balancing Lip Enhancement Complex. So it's physician formulated, tried, true and tested by skincare professionals. Um, and it's a replenishing formula with avocado oil and vitamin E to instantly soothe dry lips and a polypeptide complex to help lips appear naturally firm and full. So you apply it in the morning and evening and then whenever you need throughout the day. So let's again have a look at the, I'm assuming it's going to be a tube and it is. So here's a little tube. Uh, so it's 0.25 ounces. I will have to obviously check the cruelty-free status of this and the um, the Mad Skincare is because I did look into that before I picked it. Um, but obviously the Moringa Balm um, and this were not my picks. So I haven't had a chance to, to check on the cruelty-free status. Um, so I will obviously be checking that before I use it. Uh, but to be fair, everything that I've had from them so far that has been their picks very luckily has been cruelty free so far so that is the next item and then the final one oh that's just falling off there we go and the final one is again another one that i'm really excited about because this was one that i really wanted when i saw it as a spoiler on their um, instagram um but obviously with it not being one that i could pick personally um due to the subscription level that i am on um i was just hoping and praying <laughs> that they would pick it for me and they did luckily so it's from a band called The Two Bandits. And if I just open this box up, it's like, I don't even know what you would call it. Oh, it's a tiered catch-all tray. That's what it says on the box. If I can get the thing out, there we go. So it's three tiers. It's got like little kind of material in there, but obviously you can move them out. So you can have that for whatever you want to use it for. Maybe you're putting jewellery in there um, or storing anything. Trinkets, coins, keys, literally anything really. And obviously then you can slide it across. So if you've got some valuables, you know, if you've got some spare change there maybe, you can slide that across and kind of hide it and keep it um, stored away. And it's got those little rubber feet at the bottom to make sure that it doesn't um, slide around on the, the table, the dresser, wherever it is that you keep it. Uh, keeping it but I'm very happy to have got this as well again the homeware items that I've got I started off very very basic even though I've been here about four years um obviously you know other things take priority so when you've got your basic furniture you don't necessarily always have the, the money to, to spare money to spend on kind of little things like that that aren't essential um but they're just things that you know would be nice to have them um but definitely going to be making use out of that i can i can already tell that that's going to be something that's going to come in very handy so that is the final item and um, they chose for me so let me now talk you through the different prices now just to bear in mind the prices are obviously in dollars so if you're american perfect <laughs> but if you're not um, what i will do is i will convert them for you um and put that in the, the blog review when that um when that is written, which should be this weekend, all being well. Um, so the seasonal 
so you pay per box and you pay $49.99 um so plus with um shipping and VAT on top um for obviously international members it's around $71.99 which I think is probably about 50 quid but I'm not too sure um i'm not great at maths and obviously the conversion rates change all the time but i think it's probably roughly around the 50 pound mark which for all of that stuff i don't think is too bad at all really um and then we have the annual so the select um customers which you pay up front for four boxes but obviously with that you get more customization options you get earlier access and things like that so there are a few perks to it uh, and you pay $179.99 for four boxes so you pay that once and then you don't have to pay again for another year um not sure what that would be um in pounds with the shipping and stuff on top but I will find that out obviously and put that in the review um so oh, again I'm really happy I know last month um the summer box I wasn't overly pleased when I made the selections. Um, there were a few kind of selections that were available that I was just not too fussed about, but actually when I got them and um, when it came, I was more pleased with them than I thought. But this time around, to be fair, um, I am pretty happy with them, provided those two items are cruelty free, of course, um, which I'll be ch I will be checking pretty much as soon as I finish with this video. Um, so, and this month, I mean, I'm really happy that I got the, the tiered catch-all tray and the um, little pot, the Dutch oven. They were the two things that I wanted more than any of the others and I got them both. It's a shame that the, the item that I wanted, it was like a little, um, the Americans call it a fanny pack. We call it a bum bag over here. Um, it was like a little bag that you wear around your waist, basically, for, for people who aren't quite familiar with either of those terms. It's a little bag that you put around your waist and you carry things in it. Um, so... It was really, really cute, um, but unfortunately they didn't have uh, didn't have any left. So, you know, that's that's life and that's what happens. Uh, but I'm pretty pleased with what I picked instead. You know, that, that little collapsible cup, it'll definitely come in handy. So let's have a quick recap. I won't get everything out of the boxes this time, so I'll make it nice and quick. Um, but this is the tiered, um, the two bandits tiered catch-all tray. Now, this is gonna be the test now, getting everything back in the box. If you've watched me before, you will know I'm terrible at this. Um, then we have the Image Skincare Lip Complex, the Zoe Ayla Eco Friendly Comb Set, and we have the Stojo Collapsible Cup with the uh, straws, the reusable straws in there. There was the Mad Skincare um, Salicylic Acid Cleansing Gel, the Moringa Balm. Shea and Moringa, uh, True Moringa, sorry, Shea and Moringa Balm. Then there was the Coach um, Necklace and Earring Set. And finally, the Golden Rabbit Enamelware Dutch Oven, which is going to be the thing that's going to cause me the problems getting back in the box, I feel. <laughs> oh, actually, that went in pretty easily. I'm impressed. Okay. And then obviously we have the, uh, the little magazine and things as well and my yoga wheel, which I'm very happy about. So that is everything that was inside my FabFitFun for fall uh, or autumn, if you're from the UK. Um, and again, for the price, I think the stuff that you get is is amazing, to be fair, for the price. Um, it may be kind of more money than your standard kind of 10 or 15 pound box, but the value that you get in is, is triple that sometimes so i've had boxes that have been worth over 200 dollars um and i've paid like you know what 71 um <laughs> so you know it's it's nearly double in fact it is double um so you know you can't really complain can you when when you think about it like that and you get to discover brands that you may ne not necessarily get to discover otherwise um you get to find items that are kind of the less well-known stuff, things that you never really knew you needed, um, such as the, you know, the, the tiered tray and the Dutch oven. Didn't know I needed them. Probably would have got by without them, but now I've got them, I'm definitely already thinking of ways I'm going to use them. Um, so, and then obviously with the add-ons, you can have a rattle chopping spree. I have to really stop myself sometimes, to be honest, from putting more things in. Um, but I was definitely, there's no way I was letting the yoga wheel pass by. I've been looking for one for a while. 
So that's everything that I'm going to show you. I'm now going to have to try and get the lid back on this box, which is easier said than done, um, and take some nice pictures. Obviously the review will be up in uh, probably, hopefully at the weekend, um, but if not, it will definitely be next week. Um, and I'll make sure to put all the details in there of the price conversions and the cruelty-free status of those two brands um, that I wasn't sure about initially. So if you're a subscriber to FabFitFun, do let me know what you thought of this season's edit. Let me know what you picked. Let me know what your favourite items were. Was there anything that you got that you um, weren't expecting to like? Was there anything that you wanted that was out of stock, for example, like me with the little bum bag? Um, and if you're not a subscriber to FabFitFun, why? <laughs> um, let me know what your favourite item was of my picks. Um, let me know if you would pick, have picked anything different. So thank you all very much for watching and I'm sure I'll be back very soon with another unboxing because I can't seem to help myself. Um, but for now, take care.